I'm uh, Jantine Ouwendijk. I'm from Amsterdam in Holland. And I'm a teacher in mathematics and also in a subject we call um, research and design on a secondary school. And the learning scenario I've been um, working with was about uh, changing the behavior of people in the neighborhood when it comes to uh, garbage, putting the garbage into the bin instead of into uh, the nature. First, we uh, took time to make them aware of the problem, so make it also their problem to see what, uh, what garbage is on the street, is on, um, well, we went to a lake and uh, collect the garbage there. Uh, so it became their problem and not our problem. And when it was their problem, we uh, had an uh, expert on behavior. And then we told them how they can uh, influence the behavior of the people um, around them. And then they used this knowledge to find a solution uh, how they could um, encourage people to put their garbage into the bin instead of somewhere else. We want the children also to be connected to the world uh, next to them, but also the world in a couple of years and see what's important about it. I think a great benefit is that they uh, are aware of the problem. So uh, we create a little bit awareness of uh, why you put your garbage in the bin. I think that's uh, a benefit. It's also a benefit that they learned how to make a good survey because you don't have some questions and just ask, but they learned how you have to make those questions to get good information you can use also to get to stati statistics and stuff. Um, and also, um, when you know how you can change behavior, I think it will be a benefit for all of us. <laughs> and it's also good, uh, they have a lot of the theoretical uh, subjects. So it's also good to get them in another mood and give them autonomy and give them uh, a chance to work together. And you're working on other skills than they're uh, in the regular classes. And I think those skills are in some ways more important than be good in maths or be good in biology because they're also important for your regular life. The most important, of, um, most important part of this kind of education is to learn uh, other skills than they do in regular lessons. And um, it's not only like uh, working together is very obvious, but it's also about courage, courage to do, to do the survey to go to people and ask them courage to think about to think outside the box and um, there are a lot of skills involved in this kind of education so uh, I think that's very important especially when you're not doing something like this already with the students it's very important to give them this chance because there are students really um, ex accelerate in this so uh, it's, it's, it's a pity when we don't give them the chance and only give them the chance in um, learning in the old fashioned way. Uh, for us, it's very important that the students have the lead. It's not uh, that the teacher tells them you have to do this and then this and then this. And uh, we want them to make their own choices. They have to find a solution for a problem. And we also want them to, uh, to, ha to let it be a real problem and not something we think, well, it's nice for them to design a bridge where there is not a river for the bridge that they have to design for. So I think that's two parts. Uh, let them have their autonomy the, for the students and also uh, be it real, let it be real and let it be important for the students themselves. Well, the open schooling part is quite obvious in this kind because uh, we went out to, uh, out of the school firstly to the lake to de to do like a clearing and we also went into the shopping center with a survey the students made a survey and they went into the shopping center to hear about the motivation of the people to throw their garbage into the bin or do not so um, and we also invited experts, um, one expert on the behavior part, because we really wanted that to be a fo focus point. And uh, when we went to the making part, because uh, they had to find a solution, and the solution could be like uh, an app or uh, on your phone, 
but most of them, uh, the solutions uh, were around a bin, and they have uh, had uh, expert on electric electricity. So they, well, there was one group who thought about the negativity. So they make like a very annoying sound, and the sound only disappears when someone puts their garbage into the bin. So they also had like an expert on the electricity to make the bin work for what they wanted to do. So also the presentation part uh, in the end where we invite the stakeholders like the uh, managers of the shops in the neighborhood and uh, that kind of people. They love to get involved with the school, especially when there's something for them also to, um, to uh, get out of it. So when they see the students involved with, uh, in this uh, subject, the um, garbage in the neighborhood, um, they only are happy that the students are thinking about it. And also uh, when there are great solutions, maybe they can have a benefit from them also. It was um, important to uh, talk um, with them before the project started about how many times they were involved. So they knew how much time it will cost for them because they also have their own um, work. You don't have as many, many uh, disappointments when we, you, have the, um, you have talked about it. So that's also for the students because it's very important that they see that their solution, uh, that it comes to the stakeholders and they're using it. And it's not like, oh, wow, you've done it and then put air something into a cabin and never look at it again. Um, so maybe that's also the second one. It's to find a project with a um, uh, um, specific end goal. Uh, so the students know I'm going to through these steps and that's the end product. And also let it be an end product that's real and that means something. And it's not like something you thought about and how oh, it would be nice to let them no, really have a stakeholder that has a problem and give this problem to the kids to uh, let it solved. And the students will work for the stakeholder and not for you as a teacher or because they have to get a grade out of it. And I think the most important one will be just do it and don't be afraid. It will be uh, very different uh, for, for some uh, teachers. It will be very different uh, from the stuff they're doing now the way they teach now, because you're not the one giving information to the students, there is an expert doing that. So maybe you are going to teach something that you are um, not very familiar with yourself. But um, when you're honest about that to the students, it doesn't matter because you don't have to be good in everything. You have arranged someone who is and the students can listen to that person. Um, so just do it and uh, I think uh, the experience you will learn very much from and also the students will learn very, uh, very much from it. Mm -hmm.